In this section, we are going to look at how we can handle cookies using Selenium WebDriver. Now, firstly, what is a cookie? It's a small piece of data which is sent from a website and stored in a computer. Right? Cookies are the mostly used to recognize the user and load the stored information. Now, what's the advantage? So, using cookies, your applications will respond faster because they already have that information and they don't need to request it to the server, right? So that's the um, advantage of cookie. Uh, so you can easily look, the look at the difference by deleting all your or clear all your cookies in your browser and try to load an application and then um, load an application normally when you have the cookies stored in your uh, browser, right? You will see the difference. The later will be much faster than the previous one because uh, the browser will have all already have the cookies for the web applications which you are launching. A perfect example of a cookie is uh, when you're logging into a particular website and you're clicking on that remember me checkbox, right? So the next time you're going to log in, it will not ask you for your username and password because it has already stored that login information in a cookie. Now coming to WebDriver, why do we need to handle cookies and where do we require that? So take an, take an example, like uh, you are working on a shopping website, right? You're automating that scenarios, different scenarios, like uh, searching for products or adding them to the cart, checking out from the cart, uh, making amendments or making payments. So there are lots of, lots of scenarios. But for every scenario, you need to log in into that particular website, right? So that's the basic criteria. Now, if you uh, go through the login cycle every for every test case, the test execution time is going to increase. Now, you can use cookies to store some information which you can use during the execution in your scripts, right? So that will reduce the execution time. So that way you can save some time um, and it will also make your scripts much faster, right? Now, WebDriver API, it provides some inbuilt methods to handle these cookies. Like these are the six methods which are listed here. So let's see one by one. So the first one is get cookies. It will return you the list of all the cookies which are present. Then you can get a specific cookie by its name using the get cookie named, right? You can add a cookie uh, with the help of the add cookie method. And then there are different delete cookies, uh, delete cookie methods like uh, delete cookie will delete a specific cookie. Delete cookie named will delete, also, will also delete a specific cookie, but by its name. And delete all cookies will delete all the cookies which are present uh, currently in, the, in that particular session, right? So these are the different methods. Now, Let's see how we can use them in real time, right? So let's go back to our application and here I'm going to add a cookie. So let's go to driver.manage and here we'll have those methods for cookie, right? Now I need to create a new cookie. So let me get that instance and then I can pass a name and value here. So I'm passing some dummy data, not anything related to the application, right? So here I'll pass a user and then I'll pass a value here like QS script, right? Now, how to get this cookie back? So you can use get cookie named and you can pass the user name which you used for your cookie, right? So that will get that cookie. Now I can store it in a cookie object and then I can print it so that we can verify whether it's working or not. So system.outprintln and we'll print that cookie. Okay, so let's check this out. We don't need the application, but I'm just opening it uh, for the sake of it. So it will, it is going to print uh, the cookie information, right? It will have this name and value along with some other uh, values which are added automatically to the cookie. So let's see. 
just waiting to print that information here okay so here is our cookie right we have our name and value which we added and then um, these are some basic information added to the cookie like the path and the domain of your application right now let's perform another scenario where we'll be using um, get cookies right so we'll get all the cookies i'm going to uh, enter a username and password a valid username and password and click on sign in and log in into this application and then after logging in i'm going to grab that cookie which is stored in the application right so let's uh, first enter the login information so i'll use buy.id and username dot send keys and here qs script 20 at gmail.com similarly i'll pass the password here so password and qa script then i will click on the button so let me pass that submit and now i have logged in so i'm going to get all the cookies present so get cookies right now i need to store this so this returns a set of cookies so i'm going to do that i'm going to create a set here and then we'll also print it out to look at it right so let's use this statement instead of cookie we will be printing the cookies here right okay so let's check it now it should print all the cookies from the application uh, I may have entered the wrong password, but let's see, or I'm going to change it again. I think it is not signing in, right? So let's change it. And also i'm going to look at this inspect element because it's not clicking on it right so let's correct that so id is submit okay so let's let's do let's we'll try it again Okay, so let's try to run this again. I've corrected the password here. Uh, this this time it should log in and then it should return all the cookies to us and we'll print all the cookies or the information which is present in, in the cookies, right? So let's see this. Okay, so it logged in. Now, yeah so this is our this is the cookie which we have uh, added and this is the cookie which is present in the application after we log in so it is returning this so there are lots of things here right so it has got a it has also got uh, be something right i wanted to show you here so domain domain user so there are uh, different cookies here, not just one cookie. Yeah, so this is, you can see the session ID, which keeps on changing, right? So depends on the application, how it is managing the cookies, right? So this is how you add a cookie, you get a cookie and you get all the cookies, right? So now the remaining methods are deleting the cookies. So you can do that in the same way 
driver dot manage dot delete so you can do it by a delete cookie and you can pass the cookie here right or you can use this delete all cookies right so it is going to delete all the cookies so when you execute this it will delete all the cookies now this is a good way of also if you want a clean slate before you execute a particular uh, automation script right you want to delete all your cookies you can use this to clear all the cookies this method right so it's uh, quite useful in some scenarios so that's all i wanted to show you how you can manage cookies using these different methods in selenium um, in later sections we are going to look at uh, some of the other topics like javascript executor and uh, how to handle exceptions right uh, how to take a screenshot how to work with web tables so there are a lot lot more topics so keep joining in and we will have a look at those topics